Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,298. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Wow, you're not going to believe it. We've been waiting for this for years. Group by date in the Power Pivot data model. This is new in Excel 2016. In earlier versions, when we tried to build a pivot table from the data model, it would not let us group by date. Now, really, efficient data modeling requires a calendar table. But I've done a bunch of data sets where we group by date using the data model with millions of rows of records, and it works just fine. Not only that, but Microsoft says that the Power Pivot data model, that means the DAX formula, the columnar database, all of those work together fine with the calculated columns that will be automatically created on the fact table. Now, I've already imported 800,000 rows into the data model. And if you want other video series, I have lots of videos about Power Query, Power Pivot, data model, and so on. But here, I just want to go and look over in Power Pivot, data model. There it is. We simply have date, product, and revenue, and sales. So this is a simple example. You have all this data. It's a lot of data. You've used the data model to import it. And the advantage to that, instead of just using the 800,000 records in your Excel spreadsheet, is that the file size will be significantly smaller. So watch this. I'm simply going to click the Pivot Table button. I'm going to put it on a new worksheet. Go over to the sales. I'm going to drag date down to rows. And you're not going to believe this. It will happen automatically. Now it's going to take a second. But look at that. Year, quarter, month, and date. We can expand over here. We can see, sure enough, there's all the fields. In this case, I don't want quarter, so I'm simply going to click and drag. I don't want date, so I'm going to click and drag. And then I'm going to drag revenue down to values. So that is quick and easy. Now let's go look at the data model and check that out. It added a bunch of columns, first with format for the year. Then it has a formula with concatenate and a one of many possible formulas for calculating a standard quarter. And then it hid this from the data model, month index, because that's used to sort the actual month here. But those are all created automatically. All right, so data model, Excel 2016 and later, we can group by date. All right, we'll see you next video.